Good morning, everyone. Happy Monday. It is 8.22 a.m. The closet is getting installed between 8.30 and 9. They're going to show up. I just went ahead and cleaned out my office, and we're about to unbox my treadmill, and I am so excited. I got a walking pad for under my desk. I think it's going to change the game, so we're going to unbox it. I'm quite obviously still in the process of waking up, so don't mind me, and also this hair is getting washed tonight. <laughs> but let's do this. Let's do it. Oh no, where's my box cutter? Okay, well, slight pivot, you guys. I actually just looked outside and the closet people are already here. They're nice and early, so we'll see what we can do. Oh, I think they're sitting in their car, like chilling for a second before they ring the doorbell. My stomach is rumbling. Okay. Oh my god, I'm so glad that it's like small, you guys. I thought it was gonna be like big and clunky. I mean, it's very nice and heavy and heavy duty, but it doesn't look awful. Okay, good. He is bringing this stuff in. So he's starting to set up. He said I can take pictures and videos, so yay. What is this? I'm being nosy. Oh my goodness, it's a drawer. <laughs> Just gotta make sure the cats are not. Okay, he keeps closing the door. Good gentleman. Oh my goodness. Let the fun begin. I can't believe this is happening right now. I'm so excited. This is the hardware that we went with. He's bringing in all the big boys. Oh my God, this is gonna be so nice. Yay. And the treadmill setup is going well. So far so good. I'm just, came with like a bunch of tools. I'm just figuring out why I need these. Like it's saying maybe something got loose when it was shipping. It's from Amazon, by the way. Brought my hokas in. All right, let's plug it in, make sure it works. That's what it says to do. I need an extension cord. See if I can find one. This is worse than Ikea. They cut around all the baseboards and everything. All right, we're all set up. My little remote I can keep in here. How perfect. Yay. All right, we got some work done. I think all the pieces are in here now. Yeah, I think he's gonna start. Here's the before. So exciting. <laughs> I'm like a little kid. Apple watch on the ankle. That's what the TikTok girlies said to do because it's more accurate. All right, I'm gonna start working. Let's walk. I have to do strength training today too, but we'll do both. Quick little update, getting there. Ooh, the drawers look so good. Yes. I just walked a lot actually. I think like 2.5 miles or something like that. I actually just realized as well that the Apple Watch doesn't count it. If, unless you're like walking super fast, it counts it as like a brisk walk. So it only counted like 14 minutes towards my like, you know, exercise on my Apple Watch. Meanwhile, I walked like over an hour. So that's good to know. But now I have to figure out how to move it out of the way because I want to sit and eat and do more work, but I want to pause on walking because I also have to do strength training and it's leg day. So that's going to kill me, but let's make some food. I'm going to have a little thin bagel with some cottage cheese, a hard boiled egg, and some everything bagel seasoning. Um, yum. So excited for this. Okay, that's really easy. Love that. Thank goodness. All right, here's an update, you guys. It is 12.30, he got here at 8.30, 9.30, 10.30, 11.30, 12.30, .30. four hours, literally almost done. He do it. He has to come back tomorrow to finish a few things, but babe, come look at the island. Oh my, this is looking so good, are you kidding me? 
Like what? Holy guacamole. <laughs> wow, it looks sick with the island. Oh my god. Wow, it looks freaking awesome. Are you kidding me? Wait, I forgot. Are we doing something in the corner or no? This is going to be my vanity, like to get ready. Yeah, and they're building that? No. No, we haven't done anything yet. Oh. My dad was like, wait until it's all in. My dad might build custom. I think I might do like a, like a wood color to like break up all the white. Mm -hmm. Like a wood top. <laughs> we keep sneaking in here. <laughs> Even though I asked him if we could take videos and he said yes. <laughs> Look at my babies. You guys sunbathing? That's so cute. Are you knocked? Oh, okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> How about you? Hi, Bubbo. Guys, it literally looks so good. I'm crying. <laughs> like, I can't believe that, like, this feels like a dream. Like, how is this real? How is that gonna be my closet? I can't believe this is real. I'm literally crying. This is so cool. Wow. It looks so good. I'm so excited. Dreams come true. Okay, you guys, he just left. He's gonna come tomorrow for some more finishing touches. But here it is, are you kidding me? So there's gonna be drawers in here tomorrow. They're gonna be like kind of small because I wanted to put like jewelry, sunglasses, like little stuff. And then there'll be some other like bigger ones towards the bottom. This is gonna stay shelving. And then he's gonna come back and put a filler here, he said. And then I have to look at the design, but I'm pretty sure this is also more hanging area. I think that's what these poles are for so that is that and i was gonna do a different color um for this like hardware oh i didn't even know it wasn't round it's like a rectangle that's cool anyways i was gonna do a different color but when we designed it she convinced me otherwise she was like honestly when you do another color when you're moving the hangers on it it kind of gets like all scratched up and stuff and i was like all right it's gonna be full of clothes anyway we can just keep it silver but i did end up doing the black hardware like look at these drawers <gasps> It fits so much in here. I'm so excited to play around and organize everything. Like, are you kidding? And then we did one long one here for like dresses, jumpsuits, like longer stuff, which I don't have many of. So I'm like, one section is more than enough. And something else I love is that all along the top, there's like about nine or 10 inches of space where you can also put like storage baskets or just put like extra stuff up there. Ben, huh? you see, come here. Oh, he left all his tools. Yeah, no, he's coming back in the morning. Yeah, no, is, it, it looks unreal in here. This is going to be all drawers. So, like, professional. Yes. Like, it's a freaking store almost. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so excited. It looks unreal. So, yeah, this can be all storage up here, and then a bunch of hanging space. This is going to be all shoes. And then I think I'm going to put a mirror right on this wall. And then that's going to be my vanity area where I, like, get ready. So I need to figure out, like, a corner desk situation with, like, and get, like, a nice chair. And then, oh, was this supposed to be closed on this side? I think so. Yeah, that makes sense because there's shelves on this side. But I'm just so excited to find, like, a space for everything. Like I'm trying to think about like where am I gonna put all my workout stuff? Like I love hanging. That's why I got mostly hanging space. Like this is all hanging, hanging, all hanging. <laughs> but I was like, let me do a few drawers just so I at least like have the option for maybe purses. And this is open shelving. So I can also put like more shoes here if I want. They're really deep though as well. So I'm like, what? where am I gonna put everything? I'm so excited. I could do like my underwear, my socks, my bras, literally everything. And these are all adjustable as well. What is this? What? What is this? I don't know what that is. Okay. I'm gonna have to ask what that is. But yeah, so I'm just so excited to like figure out where everything's gonna go. I don't know yet. Cause I have a lot of jackets. I have a lot of clothes. Like I guess people would use these for like their workout leggings. That could actually be really nice and just like fold them really nicely. Instead of hanging all of my leggings, that might be kind of silly. I also went with like the longer handles too, because I thought it would make it look like more sleek. And then I'm going to ask him tomorrow. I don't know if he's going to have like little things to cover all of these, but I definitely want to get like white little things to stick in there and cover all of these holes. I mean, there's going to be clothes, so you won't really see it that much, but it would look nicer for sure. Okay, Zane and I are going to go work out. And then DIY Dad is coming over for a few random things. Pre-workout snack. Mm -hmm. So, why does the camera look like that?
Does it look weird? I don't know. With my strength training, I was doing two times a week and then I started to really like it. So I'm like, let's add another day. So I had my fitness coach add another day to my schedule. You'll hear about like the whole program that I'm doing really soon. It's a brand that I'm working with. So she added another Monday and I was like, let's do legs this time because the other two days are arms. So it was my first day and she, she was like, I will warn you, it's a little spicy. I was like, oh God. So I could have kept walking on my treadmill, but I was like, let me do my workout first because I don't want to like overdo it. So leg day, here we go. Alrighty, I'm making us a nice little lunch. I got these pitas from Aldi. I'm gonna put a chicken burger in them with some spinach, cabbage, tomatoes, cucumbers, mayo, and a little bit of this garlic habanero hot sauce. It's got the chicken burgers going right here in the air fryer. These are the ones from Costco. They are phenomenal. I'll show you the packaging just in case you wanna try. Here she is, caramelized onion and eaves white cheddar. You need to try these. They are so good. They're already cooked too, so you just need to heat them up. Amazing. DIY Dad is here. Come in and oh, see the closet. Check it out. <laughs> Judge all their work. Ooh. <laughs> I sent him pictures. That's why he's not. I don't know what this is. To hang your stuff, your clothes on when you like. Oh, when I'm like getting dressed. Or... That's so cute. <laughs> I didn't know they were doing that. They didn't tell me that. Well, they made it so your clothes go this way. Yeah. I would put like hooks here. Well, my clothes are gonna stick out a little bit. Oh yeah, that's true. You know what I mean? But yeah, I can put hooks and hang like belts or something. One guy, duh. Did he have to cut out the backs? That was already done. So he just assembled. Yeah, but for one person, pretty quick. Yeah, I mean, well they have it all cut and ready to go. Yeah, aren't these cool? Yeah. I thought they were gonna be like round. They're like modern. Are these movable? No. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, they probably just pop and push oh, into the lines. Oh, wow. Well, if he doesn't tomorrow put it's things in all these... Modular. I mean, he should be able to do this pretty quick. Yeah. It's just He's like, like, I'm not impressed. It's like kit kind of <laughs> corners and stuff. And the handles they had too? Already? Yep, included. I picked these handles. Nice deep drawers. They feel nice too. And you have all the storage up top. Yeah, you can put stuff up there. Yeah. Now we have to come up with a vanity situation. We'll measure and see if I can order one. If not, we can make one. <laughs> Maybe. But I want like a corner getting ready section. Mm hmm It's gonna measure how much room you have on either side and yeah. find like a corner desk. Yeah. That's made for a corner. You know I mean? think I could just order one, yeah. Maybe if you know the size, once we yeah. measure. Testing. One, two, three. It's gonna be full real quick. <laughs> I have so many jackets. <laughs> Do you screw it to the wall? I'm pretty oh. sure. I would hope. I think so. He was saying he's like, you know, your walls are a little uh I'm like, yeah, this house is a little wonky. Cause it like all, oh, see how this one sits, wall. this one sits flush mm -hmm. and this one is not. Right here and here. Who knew? That's so, such a cool little thing. Yeah. They really didn't even tell me they you were doing even, They go right into the holes, right? Yeah, you screw oh, them. I could put it anywhere? Yeah, I would get, you can get another one even. You've got a few and then you can, oh. you know, you don't have to move over here to like, oh, I'm gonna strip this So up. far. <laughs> that's what it's for, I guess, to. Yeah, big space next to it for a mirror too. Yeah, right here. Yeah. Okay, hi, update. <laughs> Dad and Zane just did some stuff around the house. They were doing stuff to the fridge downstairs. It's been giving us issues, so we're fixing that. And then they finally put all of the tables and chairs into my dad's truck to take home from the engagement party that we borrowed. And now, DIY Dad and I are heading out on a Valentine's Day mission. He was like, I gotta go get stuff for mom. And I was like, I need to go get stuff for Zane. And I didn't want to go out alone and procrastinate and sit in my car for too long because it's cold. So now he's gonna go out with me, which is perfect. Like, like daughter, like father. Like, I'm like, you need last minute valentization too, me too. <laughs> so it worked out perfectly. So we're gonna run out together. Dad just wants to get like a card and chocolates and stuff. I want to get Zane a Keurig coffee machine. I should have planned this out way in advance, but I was like, oh my god, I never got anything and tomorrow was Valentine's Day. And it has crossed my mind like a few times within the last few days, but then I like forgot about it after it crossed my mind. We're gonna run out and see if I can find something of the sort because I would love to hand him like an actual box and not just be like, I ordered this for you. It's not here yet. So we're running out. Maybe I'll even do my Kohl's return if we're in the area of a Kohl's for my, uh, my Amazon lamp. 
Oh, and while the boys were doing stuff, I got some editing done on tomorrow's vlog. I still need to finish it, but I like speed edited a lot of it, which is good because that needs to go up tomorrow and tomorrow's Valentine's Day and I don't want to have to edit anything. Okay, so I was going to get him an espresso, but they don't have any of those here. And now I'm just like, my dad's convinced me to get him a Keurig, which we can always come and exchange it, but he's saying that you can try so many different things versus an espresso is just an espresso pods. I don't know. To avoid going to another store, I think I'm just going to get him this. We'll show everyone, look at the kinds of- Show everyone the yeah, classic okay. Cinnabon. Look, mm -hmm. And I just did my Amazon return and we got coupons. Kahlua coffee. Yeah. I, I think there's more variety with a coffee. Okay. That's just, that's yeah. just me. I wonder if this will work on it. 25% off we got. And I got 10% off Sephora. I need to go get my mascara. Perfect. All right, we're doing good. This is the coffee maker that we decided on it's got the frother i was like yeah he doesn't need that he won't use it and then my dad was like well when i make him coffee he likes the froth and i was like actually when he gets the nitro cold brew at starbucks he likes the froth so maybe he'll enjoy that so I'm gonna get him that one i got him these starbucks pods because i know he loves starbucks and then i made a pit stop at sephora because they gave me a 10 percent off coupon and i got my tartlet tubing mascara because it's my favorite and it doesn't get black under my eyes and we're gonna see if we could use this coupon but i doubt it but other than that we did good we just need to stop and get cards all right we left kohl's we went to the dollar tree and got cards and now dad has dragged me into harbor free <laughs> and he convinced me to get a stud finder so that's what i got in his little free bucket he's like i'm part of the club no you don't need gloves. any more gloves no you like you need plastic I, I i bought them at when we went to the flea market remember in pennsylvania or where were we or new jersey when we went to the show hammer 5.99 hammer i told him i'm like i always go to lowe's and home depot this is like amazing i don't want to come here when i need stuff like painting stuff and whatnot but i just got a stud finder 13 dollars literally the walmart of tools 99 cent scissors? You think they're terrible? Yeah, no, they're good. I have them. Okay, cool. I use them all the time. Thanks. <laughs> you get a three pack for four ninety nine. That's that's a really good brand too. Quinn's. Oh. Um, See, look, the one, look, the one big one is seven ninety nine, and they got three in there. That's kind of, is that mocked right? See, three. Three pieces of assorted scissors. Is it in the four ninety nine? Yeah, it's not bad. That seems like a good price because five ninety nine for these cheapo fake ones. What? Oh, give me that one then. Yeah, that's weird. I, I love having scissors everywhere. And sometimes we use ours for food and then we put them in the dishwasher so they're not clean. That one has teeth on it. It looks like for like flowers. You can trim yeah, flowers. And then a little one and a regular one. I'll get that one too, the 99 cent one. You can do both. Yeah, you want both? Yeah. Oh, more stuff than me. I I'll put it. <laughs> Don't take me into any stores. <laughs> You're you're just like me though. I'm finding a lot of similarities between the both of us. I feel like when we go out shopping, he's like, but we should stop here. But what if we go here? The fold up step? No. I have my other one that I love from Home Depot. But when my dad and I go out, we're like, we should stop at this store. We got to stop at this store. Like as if we could never go out to a store again. No. <laughs> no more Zazie glasses. I gave you some, right? Yes, you gave me some. And I actually wear them. At... $9.99. Oh, are they, can these clip into Zane's workout stuff? Is that what they are? It's the same ones. Okay. Is it the same clip? How much? Nine ninety nine for that pack. For four of them? Yeah, it's like two fifty each. Doesn't, didn't he say he wanted another layer? Hello, I just knocked down five things. They like that, right? With the teeth. It's the same thing. Yeah. I actually like these though. Like if I was gonna do a big spot in my garage, I would use those. If these are like workout. I wonder if they'll match yeah. the same color though. They always return them, right? Hmm. Okay. Well, you can always do like every other one too. Like make right, and make it like a design. Okay, we're home. I will show you what we got in a few minutes, but first we're hungry. So I'm gonna throw together a quick little dinner. I'm using what's left of these panko breadcrumbs. And this is like 20 ounces of ground turkey. I'm gonna make four little mini meatloaves. We have leftover ginger. I'm gonna throw all that in here. I'm gonna throw in some soy sauce, an egg. And then I'm gonna chop up a jalapeno and some garlic. Oh, and then I'm gonna season with salt, pepper, garlic, onion. That's probably it. And then we'll make it into four little meatloaves. Yay. Ready? Oh, I didn't season it. I need you to come season it. I already got my hands dirty, I forgot. Salt, pepper, garlic, onion me. Less emphasis on the garlic, more emphasis on the onion. Oh, the gloves are just a game changer. It's so gross, gets all under my nails. Turkey meatloaf. So what kind of flavor is it? I see you put like jalapenos in there and I put soy jalapenos, sauce. soy sauce, ginger, mm. panko breadcrumbs. It smells so good already. I know. <laughs> An egg. I'm just winging it. I think it'll be good. Try to like portion it out. How cute. One mini meatloaf. I guess I could have put some onion in here. I should have. It binded very well, must I say. That's a good start. I have the oven on 425, by the way. That's what these are gonna go on. How do they look? 
scrumptious. Wow. Before we put the meatballs in, I'm just getting everything else prepped because it's all kind of going to take the same amount of time to cook. So we have the asparagus going in the air fryer and then I'm going to do the potatoes in the oven. I'm going to do them in like small little bite-sized pieces just because I want them to cook quicker because potatoes can take really long. So we're going to do... Said meatball, meatball. I said meatball? Mm -hmm. I'm so sorry. I meant meatloaves. So I'm just going to toss these with some olive oil. Salt, pepper, garlic, onion. You guys know the drill. Maybe we'll get cheeky with a little bit of ginger just to go with the flavor profile. Why not? I'm realizing instead of asparagus, I should have done broccoli, huh? Probably would have went better. Thank you. I need to make a mix, a blend of all of them, huh? I know, probably That would be so nice because it would be so easy to season stuff. The Alyssa seasoning of all four. I bet I could, huh? But then if it's a little off, then you're just, you ruined it. Here's the finished product. Hopefully it's good. I don't know, let's see what it looks like on the inside. Okay, it's good. <laughs> I'm honestly not the biggest meatloaf fan, but when I make it from HelloFresh, I really like it. So I tried to like do what they would do. What would HelloFresh do? All right, we're watching an episode of You and I just have to update. Fire, you guys. Came out delish. You pause it to tell them? It is so good, you have no idea. You can't even tell it's turkey, right? No. It is moist, mm -hmm. it is delicious, Aww, well thanks. seasoned. <gasps> you see This was one of the th oh, that's why. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> now, this is one of those things, remember before you were like, oh, sometimes, you know, I wink stuff and it comes yeah. out nice, sometimes good. Yeah, this came out good. good. Yeah. Okay, good. Yay! The only thing I would say is the jalapenos are still a little bit crunchy, so maybe, like, I would soften them a little bit before putting them in, but that's a lot of work, and, like, who cares? A little crunchy jalapeno. I like the crunch. Yeah, it's not bad. Good morning, guys. Happy Tuesday. Happy Valentine's Day. This is what I got yesterday. I just wanted to show you quick. Got a bunch of scissors from Harbor Freight. I got a stud finder because we didn't have one. I got Zane a really cute card. If you want to read it, go ahead. You can pause it. It's pretty cute. That's the card I got him. I got myself some mascara. And then I got him these pods. And then I'm going to go downstairs to wrap because all the stuff is down there. And the rest of his presents, which I'll show you, are down there. So I'm going to go do that now before I get the day started just so that it's done. All right, we're in the workshop. We're going to hang out the stuff I got yesterday for now. Move this peg. Oh, okay. Yep, that's how it's going. I guess I should just open these. Okay. All right, here's what else I got him. We ended up going with this machine and then these. I actually wanna see if they even match down here. I got them to add on to these that I had already got him. And I think they're way different. Dear it. Okay, we'll have to go exchange them. These have like a texture, these don't. Okay, it's fine. Oh, and these are way thicker. I should have known. These are for our garage not working out. I'm gonna wrap this. This is the ugly wrapping paper that I have, but it's fine, what are you gonna do? It is what it is today. Good. I love that I don't even have enough of this one. You know what? I always wrap beautifully. And today I'm not. This is just what it's gonna be. Wow, if this isn't the worst present wrapping I've ever done. <laughs> Zane doesn't give a shit, but I do, and I just, I fell behind this this year. It's okay. It's still made with love. All right, now I just write the card, and it's all good to go. I'm just gonna leave it right here, honestly. The closet guy's here. He's gonna finish that up. I need to start working, so I'm gonna walk while I get my vlog edited. I'll see you guys in a few hours. Hello, everyone. How are we? Grabbing my shoes. Zane and I just got some things done the last few hours and now we're gonna start our little Valentine's Day date. I think this is gonna be the chillest Valentine's Day you've ever seen us have. I literally barely even put any makeup on. I put on like the Tula primer, a little bit of mascara, and I filled in my brows for like half a second. And my hair is still slightly wet. I just Dysoned it with the brush attachment. I don't know, it is what it is. But we're going to Wadawa. It is an all-you-can-eat sushi place. We've went there for Valentine's Day before, and now it's kind of just become like a tradition kind of thing. We're going slightly earlier because after, we're gonna go see the new Avatar movie, which is quite long, and your girl will fall asleep if we go too late. So the movie's 
at like 5.20 I think it starts. So we're doing like a 3.30 lunch-ish. And then we're gonna go right to the movies. So I'm super comfy. I wore the only pink item that I have. Let me show you. It's from White Fox. It's barely even pink. It's like a light pink. And then these sweatpants are from Princess Polly. White sweatpants. And then my white high top Converse. I figured I'd go like, I don't know, pink and white Valentine's Day-esque. Zane's in his comfies too. Oh yeah. I love this. Casual Valentine's Day. I'm so hyped. Oh, yeah. I was like, eh, dressing up today. We have done so much. We've just been doing so much. Within so the much. last few months yeah. between all the holidays and mm -hmm. celebrations and yeah. parties and Yeah. You My know. husband go out to eat and sit at the movies and be comfy. Yeah, it also works out that your birthday is only a few weeks before Valentine's Day. Mm -hmm. So by the time Valentine's Day rolls around, we're like, alright, maybe we'll take it a little more yeah, chill. Yeah, we like dressed up for all those dinners and stuff and now I'm just like Chill. Actually, real quick before we leave, I don't think I showed you guys the final product when he left today. Ah, here it is, you guys. Literally so obsessed. It looks similar to yesterday, but he put all these drawers in. He finished this side. These top drawers are like very shallow for jewelry and stuff. I have to put like felt or dividers and stuff like that. It's gonna be a whole journey. We're gonna get there together. And then they go a little bit deeper and then at the bottom they get deeper. And then you've got the open shelving over here. I do wanna get things to cover all these little holes. I forgot to ask him about it, it's fine. But yeah, this is gonna be tomorrow's project to organize, fill it up. I can't wait, but for tonight, we're letting, a, we're letting go, we're letting loose, and we're enjoying Valentine's Day. I usually close off my office, but I can't because all the cats are in here. Oh, Bella's not, but let me turn this off. Okay. All right, we made it, look how cute. We have Valentine's Day stuff everywhere. Literally no one is here. <laughs> came at lunchtime that's good though gonna be so late yeah later, later it's gonna be insane but right now literally just us and my valentine's day nails cute <laughs> All right, we got our drinks. I got a vodka soda. Zane got a Shirley Temple. Starting with a Kai salad. We got a bunch of sushi and stuff. Games begin. Happening. I'm so happy we happy decided to come in. I know. We made this reservation a while ago. And we were like, eh, maybe we'll change it to an Italian restaurant or something. Yeah, what, uh, Patrizia's? Really Patrizia's. And then we were like, um, let's just keep it for now. And then today we were like, I such in the like mood for sushi. I know. <laughs> Perfect. I'll show you guys everything that we get. Spring rolls. This is beef satay. It's like a delicious sauce on there. And then these are like a vegetable goiza, but the outside kind of tastes like basil. I don't know, they're so freaking good. Next up, my favorite, udon noodles. Literally obsessed with these. So good. Got a bunch of veggies in there. Oof, sign me up. Zane and I are having a new competition. <laughs> He's like, are you gonna tell them? I forgot for a second I wasn't gonna, now I'm gonna. We always have this like battle of like, especially when we go to all you can eat, we're like, you don't show up, you don't eat enough. You eat more than me, I eat more than you. We talk shit to each other about who eats more. So now we're actually keeping track today. Because, guys, I've been disrespected <laughs> by not only Liz, but my cousin. Uh -huh. You know, they think I don't show up and I always I don't do. think you do. I bet you I'll eat I more than you today. I'm eating more than him today. And they talk so big and then they don't show up. I do. I eat a lot. No, you don't. I already ordered like more than you. Are you, are you ready? Yeah, I'm a simple gal. I will say this, especially gal. because of my allergies. Yeah. I stick to what I know. Yes. But I'll, I will eat a lot of what I know. You like try a bunch of stuff. I love all. I love an appetizer and a side. It's my favorite part of the meal. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna eat the other beef satay. Are you eating it? Have I tried that before? Or no? I don't know. See, that's the other thing. I'm playing at a disadvantage. I have allergies. You can order the same amount of stuff, though. All right, so I'll put two beef sad paper lists. <laughs> oh, we're so stupid. <laughs> All right, we're going strong, you guys. Zane doesn't even touch the udon noodles, so just just note that I ate this whole plate. Okay? Guys, I'm allergic to <laughs> We told her no sesame, so. If you come to Ottawa, are we in Beth Bethpage? That page. Volcano rolls where it's at. I'm gonna have a few pieces of that. We'll count. We'll make sure we're gonna count how many Zane has. I got a Philadelphia roll and an avocado mango roll, which I've never tried before. But I love a Philadelphia roll. Yum yum. Cream cheese, sign me up. And then Zane got some sashimi. We're gonna chow down. All right, we're wrapping up shop here. I got some ice cream and my fried Oreos are coming. Zane is still, how are you doing over there? How's our list going? How do we Fantastic. How do we even it out? That's the thing. What like, what is my full plate of udon? How many, how many rolls is that equal to? You know what I mean? I don't know. Listen, let's be honest. We might be quite even today. Your plate is not that And I'm just being honest. Uh, you're a hater. It's a small plate, right? <laughs> <laughs> no, um, no, you, you did show up today. Yeah. I, I like what I'm seeing here. Okay. <laughs> and you're having dessert. Yeah, and we're gonna have movie theater popcorn in a little bit. I had 37 pieces of sushi. No, you didn't. <laughs> once Are you gonna the finish sushi, them? Yeah, that's gonna be 37. Okay. I mean, one time I came here, I had 56. No, you didn't. I, I, I You're like struggling to even finish this. There's no way. Oh my God. 
guys, like fried Oreos are delicious, right? Like the ones from the festivals or whatever. Fried Oreo, like tempura fried Oreos, it's just better. I like it so much better with the vanilla ice cream. <laughs> with the chicken strips. <laughs> hello, hello everyone. We just made it out of the movies. It is 9, 16 p.m. Ooh, it's freezing. Muy oh no, muy frío. Muy frío. Not caliente. The movie didn't start until like 7 o'clock. No, wait. It was, it was supposed to start. It was a 540 movie and there was like 25 minutes of freaking trailers. But I just want to give you our quick thoughts. I really, really liked it. But it was a lot of underwater and really big animals. So my megalophobia was not happy. And then for some reason when I see someone underwater, I feel the need to like panic and hold my breath. Like, oh my God, they're gonna run out of breath. And I feel that like my heart starts pumping really fast. And a lot of the movie was that. So that was a little difficult for me. But other than that, I thought the storyline was really cool. I was really into it. I actually cried a little bit at the end. It was kind of sad, um, but. And at some points I was like, ooh, this is really long. But then it would like pick up and it would be fine. Yeah. But sometimes when it was slow, I was like, okay. But I didn't fall asleep at all, Zane did. Yeah, I fell asleep in the beginning for like in, five, ten minutes. Within the, it was like an hour after it started and all of a sudden I was like, I couldn't see his face because we were like in the recliner chairs. And I was like, I feel like he might be sleeping because we were both yawning before. I'm like, maybe I should check on him. And what do you know, yeah. he was fucking sleeping. The sushi took me out. <laughs> he did, he, he ate a lot of sushi. But yeah, really good movie. If you liked the first Avatar, then I would definitely recommend going and seeing this one. Don't love the 3D. I told Zane that I wouldn't love it, and he now agrees. He's like, no, it's gonna be cool. It's not necessary. Like, it's not like come at your face 3D. It's like a very subtle 3D, so there's just like, it's, there's no point. It just looks like slightly blurry. Like, it does, you know, Sometimes, pop out yeah. a little bit. But it's just not as clear as like, it looks a, like a regular image. Yeah. And um, locally here, there was only 3D options. So I we know. didn't even have the option to go see a regular screening. Yeah. But it was still really good. It was fine. It was just like, it was kind of annoying sometimes. Like, it just looks like a blurry background and like the characters are a little bit closer to you. It wasn't like, there was like two scenes where there was like fire, um, like little flurries and that looked like really close to your face. But other than that, it's not like old school 3D where like the characters pop in your face like really close. It's not like that. So I think it's like silly, but. That's just my opinion, but. Regardless, we're going home now. It was all perfect timing. I can't believe that movies start right now. How do people stay awake? Like, I don't know. <laughs> Present time. <laughs> no way. <laughs> I told you not to get anything. <laughs> we actually have to exchange those because I put them by oh, your nice. other ones. Yeah, but they don't match. Oh, nice. They don't match, so we'll exchange them. You have to open this one first, and then that Can one. I bring it upstairs? You want to do it here? No, yeah, because my wrapping's really botched. I ran out of paper. You have to open it right now. <laughs> no way! <laughs> oh my god. There's a big debate on Espresso versus Keurig, so if you want to exchange it for an Espresso, we can, but I just wanted to give you a box of something. But, like, Nespresso? whatever. Nespresso? Yeah, or like, espresso? Keurig or Nespresso is a brand. Oh, like the company. Yeah, but this one... You can put all different brands. You can do Dunkin', Starbucks, Cinnamon Bun, like. Oh, that's amazing. Versus, I'm pretty sure Nespresso is just Nespresso pods. Oh, so versus this Versus this, you can use all better. different pods, yeah. You like the color? Yeah. I was going to get you a smaller one that didn't have a frother, but then my dad convinced me to get you a frother because he said he likes what I froth his stuff on top of it. Whatever. That is fancy. <laughs> That'll make it feel like it's And then I was like, Zane, Starbucks I'm like, Zane will never use a frother. And then I was like, oh, okay, maybe he would. Oh, I can use almond milk. Yeah, why not? Hey, hey it's sick. So let me guess. <laughs> we got some farts. <laughs> <laughs> dark, right? Or medium? I got dark. Okay. <laughs> oh my god, I can't wait. I'm gonna try this tomorrow. Yeah. Thank you, baby. You're welcome. I'm glad you like it. Look what I got, you guys. Yay! Chocolate cup of strawberries. So excited. Yum! Milk chocolate, right? And we're gonna watch the last episode of You that's out right now. Tomorrow we are tackling this. <laughs> Hello you guys, happy Wednesday. I just realized that I haven't picked up this camera literally at all. It is later in the day. I was filming like um, a morning routine kind of short form video, so I just forgot to pick you guys up. But we got a lot done. We did the podcast, we did computer work. I just had some tilapia for lunch. We worked out this morning. It's all stuff that you've seen before, so you didn't miss much. But now I'm finally done with all my computer stuff and we're gonna start to fill my closet. I'm so 
freaking excited right now a little bit overwhelmed not gonna lie i've been not procrastinating it because i'm so excited but i've been like not doing it because i'm just like where do i even start like an excited overwhelmed as if i can't like move stuff around like it's not permanent i know i'm gonna move stuff around a bunch so it's fine but we're finally gonna start i also have on a pimple patch because one's coming in and i just can't have that right now so i'm gonna put you on a tripod and we're gonna begin filling this room up i'm i just can't wait ah! the beautiful thing is that i have this island in the middle so i can just put you guys wherever i want i'm gonna start with the shoe shelf just because it's right by the door and shoes i feel like are quite easy all of these shelves are adjustable, so I'm thinking for taller boots, I'll probably put those like at the bottom. And then I can like move the shelf up for like tinier like sandals and shoes, and I can like double one of the shelves. That's my idea. But first I gotta get all my shoes in here. I'm also gonna set up my phone so I can film the other content. And I think I'm just gonna time lapse it all, make it easy. So I'm just gonna start bringing some shoes in. I actually, I'm gonna go get my step stool because i'm gonna need that <laughs> i've got my step stool i think i'm gonna fill up this closet quite quickly which is gonna be crazy there we go which is gonna be crazy because it's like where did i keep it all like how am i gonna fill up this giant space it there's just stuff everywhere i have stuff in our closet in our dresser in another closet and this closet over here is full i also have my clothing rack there's just stuff everywhere so I think I might fill this up quite quickly. <laughs> Anyways, I don't know if I mentioned it, but Zane is actually taking the two closets that are in our bedroom. It was his idea, he offered, and obviously I'm gonna accept. So this is like all mine. He said he might wanna put a few of his cool sneakers on this shelf. I was like, sure, go for it, I don't care. Um, but other than that, it's gonna be my space, which is like, <gasps> dream. Let's start with the shoes. I think I'm gonna do like heels up top, like, cause I don't wear those often, and then like my, my more often worn shoes towards the bottom. I'm just gonna start picking and going, and then if we have to reorganize, then we reorganize. Let's just start. Okay, woo, so excited. But now we also have to color coordinate it, right? I've got some heels. Let's start up top. So I know I have a few black heels, I'm pretty sure. See, like this shelf can be moved up, huh? Okay, let's just start by putting them in here and then we will reorganize. Wow, how nice are you gonna see all my shoes? This is amazing. Okay, I'm definitely gonna move this shelf up. Let's just do that, get it done. Oh, I have that thing here though. So it's gonna have to go above it. I think that would be fine, yeah. And then I'm sure like winter, summer, I'll like switch them around, you know? Like my winter boots can go up. Let's see if this works. So which one is that? One, two, three, and one, two, three, peg. Cool. I wonder if I can get more of these shelves somewhere if they're like generic. I wonder if I could like order them from the company I used, which was closets by design, by the way. I didn't want to say it until after I made sure everything was good. Fully paid for it, not a sponsorship at all. Not that that would change my opinion, but that's the company. Um, because if I get more shelves, I can fit so many more shoes. But let's see first. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. Right, Bailey? Oh, what are you all doing in here? Excuse me, Benji, you're in the way of my camera. You can't even see that, that's a problem, huh? I just remember I have so many shoes in this closet. I was like, where are most of my shoes? In here. Okay, my next purchase needs to be like boot fillers to make them stay up. Or I can do the pool thing, like the pool thing trick. What are those called? The pool noodles. Oh, see, like these need to fit. I got my pool boots. Oh, those are so pretty. I love them. Oh, I love it, love it. These can fold. Benji, what are you doing? What are you doing? I think that needs to move up because it looks silly. It's too close together. My favorite booties. I need to find another pair on eBay or something. Wow, you see that, Benj? Okay, it's a little better. All right, here it is for now, subject to change. Believe it or not, I still have some pairs down here at the bottom that I'm debating on what I wanna do with. 
but for now I want to keep it like you know organized I think I have to move this shelf up one too I think it looks too weird how it's like super close together but this is how I have it for now we'll see how it works I think it looks pretty that's a plus plus. and we'll see what I end up hanging on these bottom ones because I can also use these bottom shelves for shoes as well and then also we have the whole top I put some up there, but this is it for now. Very satisfying. I still have some in the front too, like my Crocs, my little mini Uggs that I wear all the time. I'm gonna keep them there for convenience, but that is that. Okay, let's move on. I'm gonna do jackets. I think I'm gonna put them in this back corner because it's like nice and big and like kind of in the corner where I won't grab for every single day. I don't know. I just feel like the jackets should go there. So let's start with that. I'm gonna do black on the bottom and then like cream colored up top. I also need to swap some hangers because some of my hangers have silver metal and then some of them have black, so I at least want to make each section have the same hangers. Benji, you're right in front of my freaking camera. I am thriving right now. I just went and got all my coats from the front coat closet. So many in there too. I have a lot of jackets. It's gonna make me realize how much stuff I have. For sure. But that's why we're putting everything backwards. Backwards on the hangers. So then we know what we wear. You couldn't pay me enough to get rid of this jacket. I love this jacket. This is so fun. I'm having so much fun. So I believe, I believe that these are all of my like big chunky winter jackets. So now, actually this one even is like lightweight. I'm gonna put my lighter weight jackets right next to them. So like denim jackets, my corduroy jackets, something like this that's like a lightweight, not a winter coat. Those are gonna go right here, which I'm liking so far because that means then all of this will be like clothes and this will all be like check it this, you know what I mean? So let's try that. Let's see how we feel about it. Nothing is permanent. We can always move stuff around. Oh, and then also my idea is this section right here is gonna be all workout. So I can hang some workout stuff and then this can all be in the drawers. So it's just like a big workout section. Mm -hmm. Like windbreakers I can hang. Okay, so far so good. We're doing good. See, but this one is heavy. So where should it go? I think I'm gonna keep it here. Even though it's like Sherpa line, I think it's gonna stay there. I'm having a hard time with where that burnt orange should go. I feel like it's very much sticking out. Should it go there? No. Here? Oh, okay, okay, okay. That's better. Benji is already messing with my jackets, which is very fun. Excuse me? Cat? Get out. <laughs> okay, I feel like that looks per... Oh, wait a minute. Maybe this should go here. And this should go here. Even better, right? I can't tell. Okay. So far so good. So next I just dragged over my clothing rack just to like see what was on it and start going through that stuff. And I'm here to inform you that I have found a few more jackets. <laughs> but this is why I got a closet room because I like to have a lot of clothes, okay? We're not gonna make excuses this whole vlog. That is not, this is not the time. But I'm like, maybe I should move these up there because then what do I want to put down here? Okay, well, first of all, I have a green puffer. Like where does that go in this scenario? Right there? I feel like it should go up top. I can reach, but I'm gonna use my step ladder for right now just to, for it to be easier. I mean, let me see. Like, yeah, a girl can do what she needs to do, you know? And I also think I wanna put this backwards. So green back here, back there, these here. Oh, a hair clip. Okay, is this too much? Should it have stayed at the bottom? Okay, we're just gonna go with it for now, and then we can always move around. Funky jackets over here. Flannel should go up top, I think. Okay, and then we also have some vests, which I think would be applicable, applicable for down here. I think that is what it is for now. For now, for now, we just gotta get everything up and then we can, you know, be picky. But I think that looks pretty good. Wow, what a dream. Let's keep going. I've got a seltzer. Yum. I can't even believe I'm standing in here right now. Ah, this is so cool. So I'm gonna do this like long hanging section, which is kind of self-explanatory. I'm gonna just put all of my like longer items on there. I'm gonna see how much I have. Cause I'm like, maybe I'll just put like summery and wintery there 
like winter dresses and summer stuff just because I don't have another hanging spot and I might as well fill this up with like the longer items. So let's just fill. No thank, fill. <laughs> right Bailey? No thoughts, fill. Don't have to do that anymore. <laughs> wow, this is freaking amazing. Are you kidding me? Jumpsuit, full length. Look at that. Another jumpsuit, full length. <laughs> I know we all know this fit. That took me like so long to wear. I would love to get hangers that have like the clippies, or maybe Amazon has ones that you can add on to hangers so that the pants can hang because I have the space for it. For now, I can just hang short. You know what I realized that I didn't even do on purpose that I'm really liking about this layout? Is the fact that I left the space for the mirror. Well, we were gonna leave this space regardless, but I was gonna make another space for one, and then I was like, well, since we're gonna have this extra space, might as well put the mirror there. And it's perfect because the shoes are right next to it. So as I'm getting ready to walk out, I can just keep trying on shoes and I won't make a mess by having to like say, carry them all the way over here if there was a mirror over here. Now I can just try on shoes right next to it. Also, since I have extra shoes, I'm now considering my like fancy heels should go over like the fancy hanging stuff up on these shelves if I don't have anything else to put there, which I don't think that I will. So I feel like that would look really nice. Put some heels there. That way I can utilize this for the rest of my shoes, which would be perfect. We're getting there. Slowly but surely. All right, off camera, I just went ahead and switched around some shoes. I made all of them fit. So I moved all of my heels over here, which is like very nice. Now they're all in one spot. And then over here, I have like my boots. All three of these shelves are boots. And then we've got some sneakers and then some sandals and then some extra sneakers that I don't wear super often are up there. And then some extra boots up there, snow boots, extra Uggs, and then another pair of combat boots. Do I actively wear every single one of these super often? No, but I need to give myself a few months of having them on this beautiful shelf versus being hidden in the back of a closet to see what I actually wear. And then I will go from there and see which ones I want to get rid of. But for now, they're all staying. Can you tell I have an obsession with boots? Like, love them. Specifically black boots, black leather boots, beautiful. All right, let's tackle the workout stuff because I feel like I just shouldn't move to this section without finishing this one. I'm gonna bring all of it in onto the island and then go from there and put it all over there. Oh my God, every time I set up my camera here, I'm like, this is my closet? Are you sure? Like it literally looks like something I would save on Pinterest as my inspo, like yes, literally perfect. Stay hydrated. When you're drinking a seltzer and then take a sip of water, I feel like water tastes so gross. Cause you're like expecting that like flavor and carbonation and then it's just like <laughs> lower in. I love having this island too. Like love, 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 live, love, love. You guys, I have an excessive amount of workout clothes. I'm just warning you now. I'm thinking also once I'm like all settled, I can maybe go in with my like label maker, but I don't put it on the outside. So I would have to figure out like maybe on the inside of the drawer, like right here, that would be actually perfect. I can label what's where like, I don't know, leggings with mesh, leggings with not mesh, you know, or I'll just remember. This isn't all workout stuff. It's kind of mix match. So I'm just going to throw it on this right here and then I'll go through it all. Oh, I forgot about this. See, like sitting at the back of my closet. Here's what we got going on. Let's fill the drawers. Oh, you tell me that you think about as gay as, as I and G, yeah. I go and pay at the bar. You go and order a car. Okay, update. We are getting there. I hung some workout stuff. And then in the top, we've got all my leggings. This is like subject to change because I know I have some that are dirty. So I might have to move like, I know these three are like flared. So maybe those can go like in a different drawer. And then right here I have sports bras. And then these are just like my comfies that I put under like t-shirts, just like super thin little spaghetti strap tank tops. And then th maybe this is where I'll move those pants. These are joggers. And I know I have a few hanging too. It's kind of random with the sports bras, but I have extra room. So I might as well use it down here is tops so like some workout t-shirts like crop tops these are pretty much all like me cutting up t-shirts that i don't wear anymore and using them for workout tops and then these are actually like athletic tops and then down here i did all biker shorts and then like sweatpants shorts which i also know i have more of so that will fill up 
eventually, but. That's the progress, I am starving. Zane just whipped up a quick dinner for us. The Frozen General's House from Lidl. And then I did a bag of cauliflower rice and I put some soy sauce, sriracha, and some extra General Tao's sauce. I am probably gonna hang it on the wall. Not right now, but I just think it will be better on the wall. That's my opinion, huh? It'll be like hung. Yeah, that'll look better. For now, she stay there. Okay, okay. Let's do this. I'm just gonna speed put everything here. We've got t-shirts, long sleeves, sweatsuits, hoodies, all of the above. Off we go. past my bedtime you guys i am tapping out i did a lot it just needs a little bit of finishing touches but for the most part here it is we've got jeans we've got jean shorts we've got pants like leather pants and stuff like that we've got matching sets this is sweatpants all my tops categorized into long sleeve short sleeve hoodies crew neck stuff like that I just threw my old vanity in here for now until I get a corner desk so I can get ready at it tomorrow. We actually booked some wedding tours for tomorrow, so tomorrow I'm gonna have a very special get ready session. Over here is long dresses and skirts, heels, workout stuff, jackets, shoes. And then over here for now I have purses and then matching pajama sets and then underwear and shapewear, bras, socks, this is gonna be winter stuff, I think. And then this has my robes in it for now. But I think I might take those out, put them in the closet closet, and then put my t-shirts in there, like my PJ t-shirts, I don't know yet. And then this, I'm gonna have to get organizers and it's gonna be jewelry. <sighs> and then I think I'm gonna put my perfume on top of here. That is the gist, that is first round. I'm sure that things will change, but for now, I like it. And then this mirror just has to get hung and we'll be good to go. And don't you worry, I will be taking you guys along tomorrow for the venue tours, so get ready for the next vlog, it's gonna be fun. I'm gonna end you guys off on this vlog with a little bit of cooking together with my favorite, HelloFresh. Huge thank you to HelloFresh for sponsoring today's video. You guys know I love them. If you by chance haven't heard of them before, they're a meal kit service they send pre-portioned ingredients right to your door in a box you don't have to go to the grocery store you can skip out on waiting on lines spend more time doing things that you love instead of thinking about what you're gonna make for dinner and having to go buy all the ingredients for it they are chef crafted recipes all of them taste like five-star restaurant meals right at your own dinner table no matter what your lifestyle or your meal preferences are they've got something for everyone whether you want carb smart calorie smart veggie family friendly you'll find something even for picky eaters I love that they come with these recipe cards you've got a picture of what you're gonna make you've got all the ingredients and on the back here it tells you what you need to take out and you've got six easy steps everything is super high quality actually all of the ingredients travel from the farm to your doorstep in less than seven days so you know everything is gonna be super nice and fresh no pun intended or was it so today we are making Mike's hot honey we are not making it with pork chops though we actually substituted because you can do that as well we are using a chicken instead of pork I just like chicken better so I substituted that when I was ordering so Mike's hot honey chicken with rice and lemony roasted veggies sign me up 10 minute prep 35 minute cook let's run through the ingredients two zucchinis two ounces of peach jam spread another reason i love hellofresh is that you don't waste food because i bet you if i had to buy peach jam for a recipe i would never use it again so it definitely cuts down on food waste we've got two packets of mike's hot honey one cup of jasmine rice four packets of chicken stock two teaspoons of chili flakes 12 ounces of carrots two lemons, and we've got 20 ounces of chicken that I had defrosting in the sink. Let's cook, I'm so hungry. Oven is gonna go on 425. Now we're gonna start the rice. One and a half cups of water, a little pinch of salt. Give that a little stir. We're gonna bring this to a boil. Back to our veggies, we're gonna do a drizzle of olive oil and salt and pepper on both. Give them a little toss. And these are both gonna go in the oven, probably like 20, 25 minutes. 
Next, we're gonna get our skillet going for our chicken. We've got our chicken patted dry. We're gonna salt and pepper it on both sides. Rice is boiling. We're gonna lower that to a simmer. Rice for 15 minutes. And we're starting now. I'm laughing because I actually fully just now remembered that I got a rice cooker for my birthday and I could have used that and instead of using, I'm using a pot. I have to open it, it's still in the box, but I should be trying it out, you know? It's fine. Okay, let's cook this chicken. Probably like five minutes per side. Chicken for five minutes and we're starting now. I got everything else prepped. This is gonna be the bowl for the veggies. I have all the other sauce packets open and ready to go. So while everything's cooking, I'm gonna unload the dishwasher and start loading it again. But don't you wish it was like this easy? Oh my God, that was so easy. The snap of a finger. Chicken is done. We're gonna set that aside and start making our sauce in this pan with all this deliciousness. I'm gonna make sure it's on a low. The hot honey is gonna go in here. Half a cup of water. And then we've got the peach jam. We've got our chicken stock. And then two lemon wedges. Get all those bits off the bottom of the pan. I'm just kind of like lightly scraping. I want all of that flavor. This is just gonna go for like two to three minutes until it thickens. In the rice, we're gonna add two tablespoons of butter and salt and pepper. Our sauce has thickened, so now we moved it off the heat. We're gonna add in butter, two tablespoons. Let that melt in. While that's melting, our veggies are gonna go in a bowl. These are gonna get tossed with the lemon zest and a little bit of chili flakes, not a lot. Oops, I learned my lesson the other day. I cooked with them for the first time and I did not know how spicy they were. Beautiful, let's finish the chicken and then we're ready to plate. Chicken is gonna go in here and we're just gonna kind of flip it around, get it all soaked in the sauce. Let's plate. I don't know about Zane, but I'm really hungry. So I think I'm gonna have both of my servings right now. I'll put all of it on his plate. And if we don't eat it all, we can put it in a container. That's fine chicken okay maybe my eyes are bigger than my stomach because this is actually a lot of food I'm definitely not gonna let all this delicious sauce go to waste it's gonna go right over the rice it smells so good and a little on the veggies too why not a little extra over the chicken lastly a cutie little lemon wedge on the side this is a gorgeous plate of food let's give it a taste veggies Lemon zest is a 10 out of 10. HelloFresh has definitely inspired me to use that more in my own cooking. It adds so much flavor. Rice, mmm. <laughs> and lastly, some chicken. I love like the little bit of sweetness, a little bit of spicy, salty. Okay, well not gonna lie, my favorite thing to do after a long day is to eat food while watching a YouTube video, a show, whatever it is, just a form of entertainment. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that, I can't wait. And then we're gonna tidy up this kitchen, which we already emptied the dishwasher, so that's easy. Just load the dishwasher, call it a night. If you guys wanna try out HelloFresh, which you absolutely should, I've seen you guys say that you tried it because of me and you love it. If you wanna try new flavors, if you like cooking, if you don't like cooking, like just try it. You might. Love it. And of course, I have a discount for you guys. You can go to HelloFresh.com and use the code AlyssaRose65 to get 65% off plus free shipping. Again, go to HelloFresh.com, use the code AlyssaRose65 to get 65% off plus free shipping. I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. What an exciting one. It is a few days later after getting it installed and I have now been living in it for a few days and I am literally obsessed with this closet. You guys, it's so nice to get dressed, pick things out, hang things back up. I love it. And it's not even finished. We still have finishing touches to do. So stay tuned. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you all next time. Bye guys. Wow. I look like doo-doo. Nah, -doo. Oh. What the hell is that? Maybe we'll get cheeky with a little... No. I say no, thank you. I just want to go on my what? Oh! Almost went down. Benji! God, you're ruining all my footage! Stop touching my stuff. You hear me?